My Work is your home base in Tempo Timesheets for Cloud, where you can log your time on JIRA issues and even plan your time for the coming weeks. In this video, we'll look at a few ways in which you can log your time using the My Work Timesheet. We'll follow along with John, who's a typical JIRA user, and he wants to log his time for the week. When he's in Tempo, John can click the My Work icon on the sidebar to get back to it at any point. The calendar view is shown by default when My Work opens up. But John wants to log time in the timesheet, so he clicks its button up here. The timesheet displays his log time as a table with JIRA issues down the left and the days of the week on the right. John finds this view useful for seeing exactly how much time he has spent on each issue. Before logging his time, John checks the time period up here, which is the current week by default. He clicks the back arrow to check what he logged last week, but comes back to the current week. Notice that the current date is outlined, so it's always easy to find quickly. To log his time, John clicks the Log Time button at the top, and its dialog opens up. And here's a tip. You can press the W key anywhere in Tempo to open up the Log Time dialog. John now needs to fill in the information here. First, he selects a JIRA issue that he worked on. Then he adds a description of what he did. Note that if this is left blank, a generic working on statement is added by default. John could check period here and then select a start and end date for logging time over a sequence of consecutive days. The date is filled in for today, but he realizes that he should log his time to yesterday. So he clicks here and chooses that date. If he needed to specify which hours of the days that he worked, he could add that in the from and to fields. But since it doesn't matter exactly when he did his work, he just adds the number of hours in the worked field. The estimated hours remaining for this issue are automatically updated after John enters his worked hours, but he can also edit them here. If John wanted to keep this dialog open to log time to another issue, he could check log another here. But he's all done, so he clicks log time. And the hours that he logged to the issue show up in that day's cell. Up here, he can always check how many hours he's logged versus how many he needs to log for this time period. And it looks like he has a bit more work to do this week. Another way that John can log time in the timesheet is to click in a day's cell for an issue that he's working on. This way, the issue information is already filled out in the log work dialog. John can also drag over a sequence of cells to log time to an issue for consecutive days. The issue and the start and end dates are filled out in the log time dialog, so he just needs to enter the number of hours that he worked per day. And this is an easy way to log vacation time or other work where it's always the same number of hours per day for a period. The timesheet gives John a few other features that he finds useful. The issue filter is used by default here, but John clicks in this field and adds the project filter. Now it's easier for him to see his issues per project on the left. Finally, John switches from the grid view to the list view to make this data look more like a report. He displays his billable and planned hours, which is often good information for a report. He wants to include more data from a larger range of time, so he opens the calendar here and changes the start date. Then clicks Apply. When he's got all the data that he wants, John opens up this menu at the right and exports the report in a spreadsheet format so that it can be used in Excel or similar programs. So that's how you can log your time in My Work Timesheet and use it to get report-like data. Thanks for watching, and make sure to check out the other videos for Tempo Timesheets for Cloud to learn how to get the most out of it.